Hello guys, welcome to Selenium WebDriver tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn few more methods in the select class of um, to select the drop down. So previously we have seen a select by index, select by value and select by visible text. And we have mostly seen for the single select drop down, right? So if you uh, have the drop down something like this, you can't select multiple values out of this drop down. You can select only one value at a time, right? So this is single select drop down. And when we go through these methods, so select by index value and visible text, they'll work um, for uh, the single select drop down and multi select drop down um, as well. Uh, but if you say, uh, you know, like deselect by index or deselect by value, deselect by visible text, these are applicable only for the multi select drop downs or a multi select option. So if you, if I go to deselect by visible text, you will see deselect all the option that display text matching the argument, right? So that is when, uh, say, for example, you have given an option, then it will deselect that particular option and similarly uh, by index or by attribute you will deselect or uh, you know if there are multiple selections so if you, here if you see that if the select does not support multiple selections then it will say unsupported operation exception so you will get an ex exception if you are deselect if you are using deselect methods uh, for the single select uh, drop downs right so, so uh, this uh, select by value is also supported for multiple select options. So all the deselect, if you see, it will, it supports the multi select option. So what are multi select options? So if I uh, go to this particular uh, website, so Selenium Easy, this is a demo website that I have picked. And here, if you see this uh, multi select list, right? So here, you can just press shift and select multiple items from this list okay and if i inspect this particular web element you will see that it is a select uh, you know uh, type and it is uh, it has multiple options okay and multiple options can be selected so let's see how you can handle this uh, sort of you know select uh, where you have multiple options or you can select multiple options so let's go back to the uh, methods again so deselect we have covered all these and then get all selected options method so if, for example you have multiple options selected in multi select list we'll use get all selected options to get the selected option that are currently selected and get first selected option will select uh, will return the first selected uh, option that is selected so this will work you know in both cases and then we'll use get options as well so let's understand these methods in the multi select list so i'll open uh, this same program here and what we'll do is instead of um, let me comment out this stuff here okay and then i'll navigate to a website which is which has the multi select list right so i'll man navigate to this particular page all right i'll change it and then from here let me get the locator for this particular so the id is multi-select on this page so we can use that all right so we'll simply use that id and let's use these lines here and so we'll create a class we'll identify the web element first okay with the id this time because this is the id for that and then create an object of the select class so select is equal to new select and drop down here right and then we'll simply here we'll change it to id sorry okay now we can call multi-select methods right because this is the this is the multi-select uh, list so we can say um, first we can say select 
sorry. Select by index, let's say select by uh, value. Okay, we'll select multiple options. Okay, and so what is the value? Let's copy the value one or two value here and we'll say select by value and then we'll say select by index. Okay, and let's select the fifth value, fifth the value at the fifth index. All right. Now, what we'll say is select dot get all selected options. Okay. So I want to get all the selected options, and then what is the return type? It's a list of web elements, right? So we can store it in the list, right? So I can say list web element right and store that I'll say all items and then store it now because I have already imported this uh, list uh, package it's not showing me error but if you don't have imported then you just you'll get this error you simply import java.util all right and now all the items that are selected so in this case two items have will be selected so all these are stored in this list variable all items so let's see what all methods are available so all items say for example i want to get the so let's see if we scroll down so we'll say uh, size okay so all items dot size let's print what all items are being selected okay so if we just say get all items dot size and print it it will print the number of items that are selected on the console okay now let's deselect some of the items so if i say select dot deselect if i'll say choose deselect all all the selections will be deselected in this case and then let's select again so i'll select the value or select the by value and by index again and then we'll deselect select dot deselect by index okay so i'll select the value and then deselect and then again print the size okay of the list so this is just to show you how you know this all will work and how you can select and deselect from you know single uh, or you know multi select list or single select list so previously we have seen the single select list now you will see the methods that are available in the multi select li list so let me put some weight so that you can see it all uh, properly so we'll choose you know to put weight here and then it will do second selection then it will print uh, the size and then uh, deselect all so you can see deselect all then again it will select uh, by value and by index so let me put so semicolon there that's missing and then it will deselect by index and after that it will print the size okay so after the deselection it will print here it will print just one selection uh, at this particular place there are two selections so it will print two in this particular case okay so let's try to execute it and see the results So if we open um, the demo page and maximize it and you can see California is selected then Texas is selected then all are unselected then again California selected Texas selected and then Texas will be unselected and that's it 
right so if we go to the console here right so the first size here that got printed was 2 and the second time what we did is we selected by value and then by index and then only deselected by index this value we, we deselected and then again printed the size so it printed 1 right so that is how you will handle multi select list in selenium web driver and the methods that are available let's go through the um, here uh, some of the methods so we have selected select select deselect deselect all get all selected options um, so get all selected options basically what it will give you is it will give all the selected options so let's uh, you know understand that as well yeah so here we have used get all selected options right and then we have used that to print the size what all selected items are being selected and then you can also use you know like loops to uh, iterate through and get the text of all the selected option or you know deselect so all those things are possible but we'll cover that in the uh, more advanced tutorial so if we go further here in the method so we have covered uh, the first selection selected option so uh, it will return the first selected option that is selected in the list okay so for example in this particular case if we uh, you know just comment this out okay the second part and on comment the previous oops, sorry I'll uncomment the previous one okay and here we'll simply say or prior to that because if you notice this particular you know website if I refresh this page say for example you want to verify in your there is a test case for you that you want to verify what is the default selected value once the page loads okay so this method will help you a lot in that so for example uh, you know get first selected option okay so if you use that and you know we here if you see the first selected option is company size right so we can simply say here that select dot get first selected option right and what is the return type it's a web element so we'll store it in the into the web element first option okay and then what we can do is we can simply call the methods on so if you see the methods that are available that you can use here so you can you know where basically get the text right or uh, the tag name or this you know so depending what exactly you're looking for so in this case we want to verify say for example text okay so i'll get the text of the first selected option and then we can simply uh, you know verify it against what we were expecting so in this case i'll simply print it and show you the text of the first option that is being selected okay so let's run this and see the option that is being selected the first option and the text of the first option oh sorry um, this will break because I have not changed the URL in this case right so I need to change the URL to sugar CRM right because this is this code is specific to sugar CRM so I'll change it and rerun it okay okay so now to maximize it will select different options and then if you go to the console you'll see company size got printed because we got the text of the first option so we used uh, get first selected option so as soon as the page got loaded what is the first selected option it got it and we got it printed 
and now you can you know use your logic in your test case to verify it against the actual uh, you know text that you want to verify so these are some of the very you know important uh, things to consider when you are working with the select uh, single uh, select list or multi select list and the methods that you can use in the select class of selenium web driver so that's pretty much all about this particular tutorial hope you like it thank you very much for watching